The Dachshund is a remarkable little dog with a high level of energy and a lot of love for their families. In today's video, we'll be comparing this fun-loving breed with the West Highland White Terrier, a popular pup for its playful personality and bright soft coat. Their playful and loving nature is sure to make for a great canine companion for you and the family. Welcome back to the Fenrir Dash and Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Dachshund, then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect Dachshunds. So if you're a lifelong Dachshund lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new pup, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Dachshund video. So let's dive right into today's video and look at these two breeds, their similarities and their differences. Firstly, let's take a look at the breed's histories. The Dachshund was developed in Germany where they were used to hunt badgers, which explains their name Dash meaning badger and hund meaning dog. Illustrations of dogs resembling the breed can be found in 15th century drawings and documents from the 16th century were about the earth dog and badger creeper. Dachshunds were also used to hunt den animals including foxes and rabbits and packs of Dachshunds would trail wild boar. The breeds continued to develop and was refined in Germany over many years by German foresters in the 18th and 19th centuries. They wanted to create a breed that was fearless and elongated that could dig into burrows and go into those burrows to fight the animals to death if necessary. Smooth coated Dachshunds were the original type and believed to have been created through breeding with the Brack, a small French pointing breed, and the Pincher, a small terrier type Ratta. It's thought that the French Basset Hound may have played a part in their development as well. The long haired Dachshunds were most likely created through crossing with Spaniels and the wire haired Dash through crossing with Terriers. In the 1800s, Dachshunds were being bred more as pets than hunters, particularly in Britain, and were favourites of royalty. Westies share the same history as a few other dogs, since they're all considered to be branches of the same breed, which includes the Dandy Dinmont, Skye and Cairn Terriers. They were bred in northwestern Scotland and working dogs, where they, cleared, where they cleared out mines, farms and barns of rats, mice and other rodents. As you can imagine, the dog's small sized bodies really played in favour for this job role in order to get into the tight, cramped spaces where rodents would hide. Not only were the Westies used as ratters, but they were also used as hunting dogs. They would accompany hunters on fox and rabbits hunts where their role was to scare the game from their burrows. The dogs did this by burrowing underground themselves. Their bullet shaped bodies and thin chests aided them in manoeuvring through underground caverns to chase their prey. There isn't a lot of evidence to determine the exact history of the Westie, but lots of researchers believe that they can be traced to the 17th century to a small breed of earth dogs that's been given to the King of France. Dachshunds are bred and shown in two different sizes, being standard and miniature. Standards usually weigh between 16 and 32 pounds and miniatures weigh under 11. Smooth Dachshunds have a short and shiny coat and can be a variety of colours, including red, cream, brindle, black, chocolate, grey, fawn and tan. They can be single coloured, two coloured or even dappled. Wirehead Dachshunds coats are very different in comparison to the smooth Dachshunds as they have short, thick and rough hair as the top coat with a soft undercoat and the most common colour for the wire hair is wild boar. Long haired Dachshunds have a silky and slightly wavy long coat which gives them a rather elegant appearance. This breed does shed but not in majorly excessive amounts and their coat is pretty low maintenance. Male Westies are usually 11 inches tall and weigh between 15 and 22 pounds. Then females are around 10 inches tall weighing 13 to 16 pounds. Westies are small but sturdy dogs with a deep chest and rectangular shaped body which has been described as being bullet shaped. A Westie's bright white fur is a double coat, a short undercoat and a top coat that typically measures two inches long. The coat of a Westie is easy to groom, it requires regular brushing and trimming which can be done by you or a professional groomer. The lifespan of the Dachshund ranges from 12 to 13 years and as with all dog breeds they can be more prone to particular health conditions which is incredibly important to be aware of before bringing a Dachshund into your home. Certain health conditions that Dachshunds are more prone to include back problems, epilepsy, degenerative eye disorders, bloat, 
hormonal conditions, diabetes and deafness. The Westview is generally considered healthy but can be at risk of certain health conditions including bone and blood disorders, lung disease and eye issues like cataracts. The Westview needs plenty of socialisation from a young age but tends to inherently be a very friendly and outgoing pup that gets along well with people and other dogs. They're bold characters full of energy and love to play with their human companions. Love and affection are both important to this lively pup. The Westie loves to be rewarded by their owners with lots of praise and treats as they're eager to please due to their loyal personalities. Being a high energy little pup means you need to be prepared to do consistent training from a young age and to keep it interesting at this high energy can cause them to become easily distracted if not mentally engaged in what they're being taught. The Dachshund is a clever, high energy and courageous little dog that was bred to preserve, meaning they can be pretty stubborn when they want to be. They have a reputation of being very entertaining pups and fearless in character. They adore their owners and long for affection and plenty of cuddles and playing. Like every breed, Dachshunds need to be socialised from a very early age in order for your pup to grow into a well-rounded, balanced adult dog that is less wary of strangers and unfamiliar dogs or other animals. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved in the comment section down below and don't forget, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe as we have three dedicated Dachshund videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Dachshund Show.